when people say, so where's the land? It's in LA County and the, and the five or six surrounding counties of Los Angeles. Huh? Why not Texas? Why not Idaho? Why not Nevada? Why not Northern California? Why not Sacramento? There's like a rule number one and a rule number one, A, Jason. Rule number one, you have to have five to eight things going on in an area or it's not land banking. It's called land speculation. Sacramento has one or two or three things at most going on. It's not enough. You have to have five to eight so you don't lose money. And that's the bottom line. We cannot be put in a position where we can lose money. The rule number one of the five to seven things need to be going on in an area are equally tied with this. Jason, okay. no trick questions. You're, you and I are the same age. Um, I'm going to ask you about three or four states. Just tell me what comes to mind. In your, just your general knowledge, what are the main economic drivers in Florida? Oh, travel and tourism. And I'm going to make that one. What else? Yeah. Uh, retirement. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's not totally, not technically an economic driver, but I'll give it to you because that's what everybody says. Well, there's two. There's so many people moving there for that. Yeah. Obviously, it's driving the economy a bit. Yep, that's two. Uh, shoot, I don't know what the hell else would be a driver for Florida. I'm going to give you the third. Oranges? Then, yes. Fun fact. Look it up if you don't believe me. Florida's known for oranges. Believe it or not, don't care if you believe me or not, California produces more oranges than Florida. Oh, I, I already know that. Yeah. Yeah. And we ship our oranges there and they, they advertise... 100% California orange juice and then just get real Florida orange juice. That's it's it. A, they stamp with the Florida stamp because they went to Florida 100%. You got it. What are the main economic drivers state of Texas? I would think maybe the oil and cattle. Okay. Yep. There's some high tech going on there too. Is there? You hear about it because that state likes to brag, but it's one thousandth of California, but they like to, we got high tech coming. You got high tech, the equivalent of like a quarter of one city here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you high tech. Uh, I, I, I would imagine there's some travel there too and tourism, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else would be a big driver for Texas other than how, oil and cattle. How about Nevada? Uh, prostitution and gambling. You got it. Perfect. How about Idaho? Potatoes. You haven't gotten one wrong yet. I told you no trick questions. So I'm going to go in reverse order. How many economic trends are there in Idaho? You said it. One. How many in Texas? Couple to three. How many in Florida? Three. How many in Nevada? Two. Have we gotten the five to seven yet? No. So that's rule number one. Five to seven things to be going on. So when people say, why not Florida? Why not Texas? Why not Idaho? Why not Nevada? Why not Wisconsin? Because there's no freaking people there. Rule number one A, which in our business, Jason, this is more important. My answer, if you say, Rick, why not any of those other states? I only need to reply with this. You cannot, Jason, you cannot land bank. You see my mouse moving right here and right here? Mm -hmm. You cannot land bank anywhere unless you are within 60, six, zero miles of a deep water port. Interesting. Thank you. I taught you something new. Jason, when you and I were kids, I'm going to tell you a story that I could, that it's, that if I told you 40 years ago, I'd be arrested or I'd be put in a straight da jacket and put in a, in a dark cell for what I'm going to say to you. Jason, you're 10 years old. I'm going to tell you a story at 10. Jason, someday you're going to be able to watch television on your phone, but, but the phone's in the kitchen on the Attached wall. Attached to the TVs. How are you going to fit a 70-pound TV on your wrist? TVs are going to be this wide. You're going to be able to watch them, watch it on your watch TV on your phone. You're going to be able to go on the internet. What's the internet? Um, you're going to be able to buy things with your credit card on your computer. What's a computer? Right. And then this thing where you're going to be able to watch TV and buy things and library, everything you ever want to learn is going to be on something called YouTube. What's YouTube? What do you mean there's going to be books on the phone? The phone would weigh 10,000 pounds and the phone's on the wall. What do we, dad, this guy's crazy. And the phone's going to read you the story. What? Yep. And, <laughs> and Jason at 10 years old. Would you believe that this phone is going to connect to something called Amazon? What's Amazon? And it's going to put Toys R Us out of business. It's going to put Sears out of business. It's going to put thousands and thousands of companies out of business. Now, where we're going, with, yeah. yeah. Now, where we're going with that, 
uh, Jason, is I'm going to give you some education on what's called the Amazon effect. Every company in the United States that sells goods will go out of business if they don't open up warehouses around the country and do what's called drop shipping, or they're going to partner with companies who drop ship to get their stuff drop shipped. Amazon will put them out of business because nobody wants to wait multiple weeks for this. Jason, you've had it out there because I've seen it. Uh, you'll drive by an area that used to be farmland and now it's giant million square foot buildings with 300 diesel trucks around it. Yep. Those are distribution centers. We so, have one here in Roseville. Yeah. And all yep. of a sudden, and they'll come ro rolling by right behind our house. All of a sudden, nine, ten yep. <laughs> Amazon yep. trucks headed out and into the area. That's right. So if you see all of these things here, and what we're talking about is called the Amazon effect. Amazon's changing the world. All we're doing is get, gonna get rich from it. That's all we're trying to do. Yeah. So uh, do you see all these trends here? And mm -hmm. you got it in Roseville, awesome. Guess what? That's one trend. Do you see yeah. this whole screen, which I am not going over and I'm gonna go into detail with you primarily on this one, okay. the Amazon effect. The goods come in on the boats. The goods have got to, as quickly as possible, get out of Los Angeles because there's no space here to put million square foot buildings. The land would cost a billion dollars. They got to drive through town. They got to get to Lancaster and Palmdale as quickly as possible to get it into distribution centers so it can go from the big building to the smaller building to the, to the locations to get delivered. 70, 70%. 70% of all the remaining light industrial land in all of Los Angeles County is located right here. 70% of the remaining developable light industrial land and it's running out quickly. Jason, when the goods are coming in and they're going to these million square foot warehouses, there's something called a population multiplier. You might have studied it in what you're doing now or mortgage. When a job is created in a new area, it causes 2.5 people to move to town. Do you have kids? One. Okay. So if Jason, if you got a new job at a new town, three of you are moving. If if they if that if that kid still live with you. Yeah. Well, the average is two point five people move to an area. So when they build a million square foot building, we're not only thinking about the employees that are running the warehouse, then we're thinking about all the truck drivers connected to it. Then we're thinking about Starbucks, gas stations, restaurants, all the ancill ancillary. And then the movie theaters come and then the giant car maxes come. You've seen it in your area because it, it's mm -hmm. happening everywhere. This is primarily driven because of Amazon, whether people know it or not. You know it now. When those buildings come in, it's not just the building's going to have a thousand employees. That building's probably responsible for 10,000 people coming to town. Yep. That's just this circle. Edwards Air Force Base is there. The, the B-1 Raider, the $25 billion dollar. Uh, Skunk Works, you heard of Skunk Works, they built a space shuttle, that's here. Billions, the F-17, the F, the, the Raider, the, they make the fighters. <clears throat> Remote workforce, I'm really going to drive this home in a minute. How old, how old's your son or daughter? She's 14. <laughs> your daughter turns 21, she graduates from college. I don't know any 21-year-olds that can afford to live here. No. It's a rooming with 10 friends, but 60 miles uh no this is about 30 30 when you drive over the angeles national forest like um magic mountains right over here yep this is la 35 miles away she could live in a she could live in a little town home because it's you're talking about you know 180 to 400 a foot here depending on where you're living yeah <laughs> that's this millennials thing they can't afford to live here no but they Probably. can telecommute and a lot of them do that's it yeah. It's huge now that since COVID happened. Which is right Much here. bigger than it was. Yes. And they're finding that it's actually beneficial for the companies. They're making more money. Yep. They don't have to hold on to office space. Uh, Got it. And they're getting which, more production. Which is why we don't own any structures. You just nailed it. And you're, 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 you're driving home why this is getting crushed with people. Um, Prop 64 is the, is the approval of pot. And like Marcel always says, they can't grow that just anywhere. Not only is it not a field like corn. Yeah. It, these are the most highly secure retinal display, thumb display to get in. And they can only be on land. That's not only light industrial, but it's light industrial designated in what's called the green zone of, of cities. And there's not very many. Yeah, they're literally growing money on trees. That's it. Green energy is green energy and cargo distribution are the 
the main the main things that are taking up the most land. In fact, I have right here, which I'm going to show you, if you can see your screen. It's just a sticky note. You don't have to worry about how to be able to read it. We started adding up all the project coming in. It's 180.62 <laughs> square miles of land have been taken for solar. So that's, that's a hundred. Lot. That's 180 miles long. So you imagine how far that is from you. Yeah. One mile wide. That's how much has already been taken. And it, it's it's coming like crazy. So that's the green energy. This is yep. the last remaining developable land for land banking anywhere. Can't land bank anywhere else. I already showed you why. So that little thin piece lines up with uh, right, right here. This right here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to back up and I'm going to... Gonna, melt your brain and show you that this circle right here, if you take a protractor and you make a 60 mile circle, mm -hmm. one third is in the water, one third is LA, one third is Lancaster Palmdale. Okay. This whole picture here, LA is five, count them, 5% of California's land mass is here. 5%. This is the brain melter. When people get it, they get it. This is LA. I just circled it on the other map. Yep. 5% of California's entire landmass is this picture. Jason, let this settle in. 5% of California's landmass, 55% of the population. Yep. 19 million people live in this circle. Why not Idaho? Because there's a crap ton of land and no people. No, Texas, they need people. Texas has a crap ton of land. So the hand goes like this is the way I was taught. Every state you're going to name has a lot of land and no people, except five. Texas, Florida, New York, Illinois. L.A. County has more people. Uh, L.A. County has more people than 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 all but five states. Yep. L.A. Can't, forget California being the fifth largest economy in the world. Los Angeles County, I think, is the ninth or tenth largest economy in the world. You can listen to all the news about everyone's leaving the news will keep you very broke. What's okay. happening is I want you to imagine a sponge that we're going to squeeze and that water is going to go somewhere. And imagine, imagine the water coming out of the sponge are human beings. They can't go this way because there's no houses on the water. Which way can they go? See the arrows? Boom. They can only go east. Population is a biggie. That's the other reason California, because of land scarcity, which we are going to talk about in a second. I don't think I've showed you this slide. So if we if we look at this slide, because what happens in our business, it's slow. I, I see people all the time. I saw two or three different people at that talk Marcella did. I see them, they'll look at their phone and I see all this red and green. And that's people looking at their stocks. In this picture, I want you to think about, uh, even though there is not one gas powered car, 1900, it's all horse and buggy. Mm -hmm. And then one gas powered car shows up. It'll never work. There's no gas stations. This is stupid. I like my horse. I want you to think about today. You have a gas-powered car. Electric cars will never take over. It's stupid. There's no charging stations. It's no different <laughs> than what happened there. So yeah, they just need to get the infrastructure. That's figured. all. That's all. But you better be investing long before it because once yeah. the infrastructure is in, you're done. So in this picture, there's not one horse. Gas-powered cars will never happen. Well, 13 years later, you find me a horse. Yeah, none. That's exactly what's happening, especially in California. People. Yeah, that's how it was. So this is this is what's happening right now. And, you know, politics decided to make electric cars political. Ele electric, the the um, electricity about four years ago passed oil as the cheaper form of energy plus uh we've closed the nuclear power plants i think there's a half of one left in california but like san onofre got closed we got to figure out where we're going to get power so uh solar through the mandates and that's marcella's expertise i don't think there's 10 people in the country that know more about uh, this from marcella because the study and because the owner of our company but this is happening right now with electric vehicles 15 years ago we didn't have cell phones and ipads and all that it all takes energy. The greatest shift shift of wealth in the history of the world is happening right now from fossil to solar. Not a lot of people know about it. We do. 
And, you know, that's how we're Elon Musk it. did. You got that right. <laughs> He had some pretty good vision. (laughs) Yeah. So in this picture, from this to this, the three, Andrew Carnegie, Steele, uh, Rockefeller, Oil, and Henry Ford is this to this. There's many others because Firestone that made the tires, there's many others. But the main ones were Ford and Rockefeller. And Jason, this saying changed my life. Are you ready? The Stone Age ended long before the lack of stone. There's still stone now. <laughs> the oil age will end long before the lack of oil. That saying could make you wealthy. Moving ahead, just another picture of everything that's going on in one area. We're coming, to, we're landing the plane here into kind of the last thing we're going to talk about. You've seen me go past the slide. Now we're going to break this down. I want you to take a look. I want you to think about other states. Like people go, why can't you land bank in Texas? Even if it had, if we had, all of the other things going for us in Texas. Let me, I, um, I'm going to refresh your memory on something that I showed you. And then I want you to think, I didn't want your mind on this before, but I want your mind on it now. As I'm going through this, I want you to have this in the back of your mind. If you recall this picture. So every single square is a different landowner. Why not Texas? Because when you see those giant business parks come in and all that, they bought it from ranchers. Yeah, from one guy. From one guy, not from 500. And that rancher cashed out and he's living in Tahiti. He's got a cowboy hat in Tahiti. Yeah. Um, we don't we we don't have that opportunity to be going to Texas and buying ranches. Um, because if you had that much money, we wouldn't be here. And that's 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 one of our right. lines. You're, you're talking go, thousands of acres, like, yeah, uh, that's a big please. purchase. Yeah. And you know, people go, well, why can't why can't you sell me land next to a building? Because if you had that much money, we would not be talking. <laughs> right. <laughs> so in this picture, Jason, anything that has a color, I love it when I talk to people that are sharp because this slide could take, you know, 15 minutes and I'll do it in a few because I have you. In this picture, if the land has a color, it cannot, will not ever be developed, ever. All of this off the table for development. That's a lot off the table. That looks like damn near half the state. Yep. I'm, I'm going to change it. not life. actually a little bit more. Yep. It's actually a hair less because I'm going to give you the numbers here in a minute. It's it's 46.6% because California is 100 million acres. You ready? Do you see the white? Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you the same rule. I'm going to tell it to you before I show you. If there's a color, it can't be developed. Look right here. Can never be developed. Well, shit, that took a whole bunch of the other area all up through that white spot. Correct. So. That narrowed it down. If there's a color, it can't be developed. If there's a color, it can't be developed. Do you see where we're going? There's very little land. Thank you. Thank you. Developed. Texas has a lot of people, but drive through Texas. And there's a whole bunch of available land. That's not being blocked, but when the hell is it going to get developed? Like when your great grandkids are 90? Maybe. California has 100 million acres. Take off all the crap I showed you, plus all the land that's already developed. You can't, we can't buy the land where your house is because it's gone. Yep. Two million acres. Two million is 2% of 100 million. Now, that means there's total, this was done by Cal Berkeley. They might know a thing or two. Two million acres was left, Jason, this study 18 years ago. Oh, shit. There's a lot less than that now, I'm sure. Yeah. So, this slide, see, the, I got goosebumps. See that because when you said "oh," shit, it excited me because <laughs> because see the, I don't know if you can see it. Um, because here's the thing, Jason. I, I people go, why do you guys still? We, we I work about 15 hours a week, but it's intense work. When I work, Rick Silva, but I can I can do in 15 what most people could do in 40. Plus, I have a huge network built, and I worked 80 hours a week for 10 years to build it. But why we're still pushing, and why we're still why I'm still on with you on a Saturday is because now you've seen that I am on a countdown timer to being unemployed. Yeah, you and Katrina could work for us your lives. I can't because I'm going to run out of land. We are going to be out of business. Here's the beauty, Jason. I own 2.4 million square feet of land. We're landing the plane. It's consumption. I have like two slides and we're going to be done. Thank you very much for meeting with me on a Saturday. But I've gotten holy crap out of enough times to know it was worth it for me anyway. I hope it was (laughs) worth it for you. 
<clears throat> now, land banking, here's another rule about it. There's probably not within three or four miles of you too many places where you can get land for 30 cents to $3 a foot that, that's going to be developed in the next 10 or 15 years. You could probably go out you know, and get it, but then it's ranches and crap and you got Williamson Act. It's just, it's a lot. What we're doing is those areas I showed you, we, we're trying to acquire the land for like 30 cents to, I've sold one for $4 a foot. Okay, so we're buying here. And then what we do <clears throat> is we hold until somebody wants to pay us this. They have to then rezone or or at least consolidate, <clears throat> pay millions of dollars for architectural drawings, pay tens of million dollars to get tractors, and then hundreds of million dollars to buy buildings. The riskiest thing, in our opinion, in the world to do is touch the land. The second you start putting buildings on it, you start losing money. Because right here, you're spending gazillions. And do you see this up and down? So if you if you own this building, Jason, and COVID hit, and you had a 10, 20, $40 million mortgage on it, $100 million mortgage, rents and all that. So we think developing, touching the land in any way is the riskiest thing in the world. We hold the land. And as development gets closer, the value goes up. So one of Marcella's favorite slides is this. <clears throat> we don't want to buy when it looks like this. And her joke is always because the only person that lives in this picture is a Unabomber. Right. Over here, that Shanghai or downtown New York, you know, you're talking, you're talking 100, 200, 300 million dollars an acre. We want to buy when it looks like this. So in this area, not out here, in this area, when, when it's on the rise, we want to, this is where we're, where, where we're buying the land. And then again, this just shows we're here. We sell to these guys. People, oh, so you entitle. Nope, they buy from us. Oh, you develop. Nope, they buy from us. Oh, you do this. Nope, they buy from us. We are blocking them. You can see land banker. We're blocking them from being able to do any of this. They got to get it from us. Well, let me show you this real quick. You haven't seen this slide. This is great that I did this. This is important. These are all the ways to buy land. Cash. Old 401ks are the biggest by far. By far. Old 401ks. Marcella calls certificate of disappointment. Uh -huh. um, cash value life insurance. Uh, we don't like it, but people can take equity lines. And we don't like debt, but but we've had people take uh, seconds out on our home and then 1031 exchanges.